Assalamu alaikum students welcome back to the education hub in this video we will be learning about one of the most important phases of the cell cycle which is mitosis also popularly known as somatic cell division mitosis or the m phase can be defined as the continuous process whereby the nucleus of a cell divides to produce two daughter nuclei the breakdown of nucleus into daughter nuclei is also known as karyokinesis the process of mitosis consists of four distinct phases namely prophase then metaphase which is followed by anaphase and lastly telophase prophase is the first stage of mitosis it is further divided into three different stages namely early prophase mid prophase and late prophase during early prophase the chromatin network and nucleolus are present inside the nucleus which is surrounded by a nuclear membrane a pair of centrosomes is also present near the nucleus then in mid prophase the chromatin network breaks up to form chromosomes having a pair of threads called chromatids the spindle fibers also start to form outside the nucleus then begins the process of late prophase whereby the chromosomes move to the periphery they are shortened and thickened the centrioles move apart on the opposite poles of the cell and then prophase ends with the disappearing of the nucleolus and the nuclear membrane prophase is followed by metaphase in this process the chromosomes are arranged at the equatorial plane of the spindle each chromosome is attached to the spindle fiber by kinetochore by the end of metaphase centromeres divide to free up the sister chromatids now begins the anaphase to state simply the spindle fibers contract to bring about the physical separation of sister chromatids then the chromatids migrate towards the opposite poles now let's talk about the last phase of mitosis the telophase in this phase the spindle fibers start to disappear the nuclear membrane and the nucleolus start to reappear and the birth of two daughter nuclei finally takes place this completes the process of karyokinesis after which gene activity resumes in the cell after this cytokinesis takes place whereby the cell cytoplasm divides forming two daughter cells let's now briefly discuss about cytokinesis which is different in animal and plant cells in an animal cell a constriction or a contractile ring appears in the cytoplasm from outside and goes on increasing towards the inner side to divide the cytoplasm on the other hand in a plant cell cytokinesis occurs with the appearance of a cell plate at the equatorial plane which moves sideways to divide the cytoplasm This diagram perfectly summarizes the process of mitosis. The process of mitosis holds great significance in the life of a human being. It provides a means to develop from the zygote stage to the adult stage. It is needed for the formation and growth of all the tissues and organs of the body. It is responsible for rapid replacement of worn out and old cells of the body with new ones. since all the body cells are the product of mitosis of the zygote the same diploid number of the same kind of chromosome is given to each cell of the body so this was it for today's video i hope it was a good learning experience for you stay tuned for more such informative video lectures and i will catch you in the next one allah hafiz